Jimmy Hoppe, it is 6.30 on the money, and I'm sitting in the simulator. Ooh, what is that? This, this is the simulator where they start teaching you how to drive before you actually sit in the truck. And Chris Anthony, flip that switch again for me. This is looking at the front of the truck. That's looking down on top of the truck. So wow. you, I don't know if you can see all these buildings over here, but this is where I'm parked right now. Okay. And when we flip it the other way, you can see where it is that I'm going to go. And this is, he was telling me, like a 50-acre course that I'm going to be driving through in the simulator before they actually put me in the real thing. And I guess they put some obstacles out there, too, for you He's, to try. Chris is telling me they can make it rain, they can make it snow. Yes. They can do whatever they want. Sure, because you, as a trucker, you're going to have to deal with those conditions. I'm just, I'm still trying to find the seatbelt, so. <laughs> All right, you, Jimmy, we'll check in with you. You be careful, take it easy, you know, go slow. It was snowing a minute ago, I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> yeah, let's make it tough. Oh, right. thanks. Okay. Put it in reverse. All right. Hey, don't talk to me. I'm driving a truck. Oh, gosh. <laughs> All right. We'll see how he's doing coming up. It's 643. Okay. Go slow. I'm in reverse. So you can just take your foot off the brake. All right. Now, now, here's where we don't want to turn the wheel much. Right. We're going to go and bring that clutch up and let it start coming back. Okay. I would say look there. And uh, how, how's it going so far with that what? simulator, Jimmy? So far, I'm okay. I haven't run into any buildings yet. Okay, good. Uh, my instructor is Chris Antonick, and he is uh, helping me learn how to back... Uh, how long is this trailer, Chris? This is, this is a 40-foot trailer. A 40-foot trailer on the simulator, and he's showing me how to read it through the... Uh, through the mirrors, and you can see part of the course there that I'm going through, and there's there's the mirrors that uh, the general is in on, and I'm I'm watching the general, and I'm not paying attention to my trailer. <laughs> so uh, he's he's taking me around, he's teaching me how to shift, and and as he's pointed out already, the simulator is much more forgiving than the actual truck is going to be. Sure. So you tell me where you want me to go. Okay, Chris. Let's stop it here. Let's just try a little forward motion. All right. All right, we're going to take it around the course to the right. So go ahead, put it in So I want to go here. outside of the cone. Okay, is that right? That's right. Put off the brake and gauge the clutch smoothly. Here is something that I learned, Jenny. When when I'm yeah. putting it in first, I don't use the gas. No, you can accelerate. What? It. I didn't know that. There's a, there's enough torque on the engine to pick the truck up, and then all right. All right Whoa! Step. Slow down. Watch it. Here we go. <laughs> like a pro. Woohoo! Fantastic. All right. All right. So, so you don't have now. to hit the gas. Already? Is that what you said? Oh yep, already. Okay, look at that. Now, I've only ground the gears, uh, what, a half a dozen times so far, Chris? Oh, hardly at all. But the, at all. he promises me they're going to make them out of uh, rubber next year, so I should be okay. Uh. All right, let's go to fourth. Oh, oh, oh I burned that one. Drive, drive. All right. Okay, so what happened? Put the ring selector through the up position. Okay, here's where I've got to put in the ring selector. And let's shift the fifth now. Let's go, let's go, fifth gear. Beautiful. Beautiful. How about that, huh? What is that? But what is that pedal you're pushing with your left foot? Well, that's that's the clutch, just the uh, the standard uh, uh, clutch brake and and gas that you see on any kind of vehicle. However, when you have to double clutch it, it acts a whole lot different because what he's explaining to me is that you have to let the engine bring the truck up to or, or let yeah let the engine bring the transmission up to speed so right. that the gears will match when you shift. Otherwise, you get that grinding sound. Sure. Which thankfully Chris has not turned up too loud. Because <laughs> otherwise that could be a problem. All right, so I'm gonna go okay, down. Right. Let's go down to fourth gear and put your button down. Step down. on the clutch. Grab the engine. Grab it. Down oh, 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 well, okay. I'm going to keep working on this, Jenny. You okay. come back to me here in a little bit, and we'll see if I've hit any buildings yet. All right. Okay. And a good morning it is. Look at your eyes, Jimmy. Are you okay? Oh, I'm okay, but I, this this is amazing. This is only the simulator that we're working on here uh, at Delta Community College at the Sussex County Airport. And I'll tell you what, Chris has been running me through the paces, and I'm not even going through the paces, and I'm sweating. <laughs> and obviously the truck harder than the simulator? Uh, I'm sorry? The truck harder than the simulator? Yes and no. Oh. It's, it's, it's harder than the simulator because obviously it's the real thing, but it's easier than the simulator. This is something that Chris was explaining to me because you get some, some feedback through the controls. You can feel when you're in gear and when you're not. You can feel if you're in the right gear or not. So right. that's how you find out. We'll check out your scores. Thanks, Jimmy. Oh, okay.